Hey, Claude Polan here, Affiliate Starting Line. Welcome. It's going to be a video about uh, the Finder and how to use it. I did one, uh, just did one that showed how it's laid out and how you can configure it. Here are a couple of tips of a couple of things and features you can use that can come in handy. So in, in the first video, we showed how to access the Finder down at the bottom here of your dock on the left-hand side. There's an icon for the Finder that you can click there, or I just come up here to the, the menu at the top of the screen. And let's go to the Go To uh, drop-down. The Go drop-down gives you the ability to find uh, folders and files and areas of your computer that you might find useful. All my files, in this case, in the Finder, the document folder, if I'm looking for certain documents and I know they're in the document uh, uh, folder, I'll, I'll go there. Desktop, downloads, home, this is your, your user, um, your main user account. Computer, this allows you to isolate, obviously, what uh, what's connected to your computer. Apps comes in real handy if you're looking for an application, and uh, this one I use pretty often. It allows me to come in here and say, gee, where can, what, what app and you know, where is it and how can I find it? And also utilities. If I have a problem, I can come in here and find the utility that I need to, to fix the problem that I'm trying to solve. And then down here, a go to folder comes in really handy because then it sends me to a specific folder I might need. In this particular case, it's configured to go to my cache folder. And I know if I go to go there, I can come in here, do a click A and clear the cache. So this Go dropdown is really, really handy. And I would start there when you're starting to look for things. In the old days, I used to come over here to the spotlight and type in what I was looking for, and it would give me a whole, you know, a pretty decent run uh, dropdown of what I, what I was looking for, but I would have to sift through it. This, is, I find, is a lot faster. Now, there's one other <clears throat> tip, the new smart folder. When I'm trying to put some information together, and I'm trying, or sometimes I'm saying, gee, where are all my, how can I isolate all my videos on, let's say, cPanel. So this is how you can do it. A smart folder is a folder that is created for the purpose of putting only uh, uh, drilled information into a folder. Let's put it that way. How do you do it? Well, you come up here. Now, <clears throat> there's several ways you can display the information. I have it selected right now up here to uh, use the cover flow, but you could come here and display information via icon. I'll show this shortly, or by a list, or by the column view, or by the cover flow view. I'll show that in a minute what that means. Okay, so let's take a look. Let's say it just, uh, it's giving me this uh, option here to, to search by date, created, name. I'm going to pick the name, and I want a name that matches cPanel. So now look at this. It's pulled up all the information on my machine that, ref that refers to cPanel. Now I'm going to filter it by clicking this plus button, and I'm going to leave it the kind the same. And this time I'm going to come and say, I want movies. Now, you know, if I looked at kind, it would it'd give me the same options here, but I'm going to leave it that is. And now what it's done by filtering by movie, it's pulled out all of the videos for the cPanel. All my MP4s, MV4s, MOVs, etc. So now I've got my movies in here. And what I'm going to do at this point is save this, and I'm going to save it as cPanel movies. smart folder. It's giving me the option to save it on the sidebar or not. I leave that saved and I'm going to put it on my desktop. And then, So that's where I will need it for the purpose of what I'm going to do here and for the demo. And then I click Save and now it's created a, a cPanel that it's now down here in my desktop and it's also created a uh, sidebar access to it right here. If ever you decide you ever want to get lose some of these access, the sidebar thing, you'd hit command. Whoops. I hit it twice, just command, and, and there you go. So now that's it. So now I have a folder that's got um, all my movies in it. If I wanted documents uh, pertaining to a certain subject matter, I could do exactly the same thing. Go in here, create a new smart folder, go over and click the plus button, drill down by content, name it, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So you, go, you can go in there and play with this and see how it works for you. Now you'll notice here, if I wanted to display by icon, I click the icon view up here. If I want it on the list, you can go to the list. If I want it by column, I can choose the column. I don't know why it's not displaying by column. That's odd. And then I can go with the cover flow. So there you have it. Uh, 
the go the go to drop down and the smart folders in the finder. I hope this video has been helpful. This is Claude Palano Affiliate Starting Line. Stay with it, stay well, and we'll talk soon.